Greetings! Let's move on to the next advanced analytics feature. The calculated fields are one of the most powerful features for KPIs monitoring and prediction. It is field for querying information that cannot be directly acquired from a database. By applying calculations to the input data, calculated fields allows you to run statistical functions and create new data items. As Trends Analytics process the calculations on the fly, no data from ThingsBoard database will be damaged and no additional load will be applied. Let's look at some examples. In this example, there are two smart meters installed in the apartment – heat meter and energy meter. Both sensors submit telemetry about the amount of energy that was consumed. The apartment has an area attribute that contains apartment size. We want to calculate the total amount of energy that was consumed on the apartment level per square meter. Let's break the process into the subtasks. Count the amount of energy consumed by heat meter, heat consumption telemetry. Count the amount of energy consumed by energy meter, energy consumption telemetry. Add the apartment size, area attribute, sum the heat consumption and energy consumption values and divide sum by area. So now we can compare the values. Here is another example where we monitor industrial machines. We want to use the data from the machine sensors to schedule the optimal time to maintain equipment and replace the critical details. Let's use the last three months of data for the analysis. First, we will aggregate and sum up the amount of defected and high-quality details to find out the total amount of the produced details by each machine. Then, we will find out the daily output of each machine. According to the technical standards of our factory, the spindle rotor should be replaced once the machine produced more than 20,000 items. By dividing the number of remaining details of the current life cycle by number of details per day, we find out how many days are left until replacement. Thus, depending on the performance of the machine, we know where and when a replacement will be needed. So now we are armed with the data and move from reactive to proactive maintenance. How to query the original field value? Before applying transformation, you need to get a reference to the original field value. Here is an example how to do that. Where temperature equal average machine temperature. Where average is aggregation function, machine is entity name, it can be asset type or device type, and temperature is the field name. All three parts are required. You cannot access original field value without an aggregation function. If the original field value is an attribute, entity name or owner name, you should use unique aggregation function. Calculated fields use JavaScript as a language for writing transformation function. Inner Engine provides 100% support of ECMA Script 5.0.